Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to change the networking settings on an Android device using my Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Now this is a old phone in modern terms, but it, this will work on most, if not all, Android devices. So let's get into the video. So firstly, you're going to need to come into your network, into your settings overall, and come to connections. It might be it might be called Wi-Fi or something else. It might look a bit like this, but in, for what we need, we need to go into the Wi-Fi settings. Yours might look a bit like this, might look different, but in this case, you need to hit the cog icon and then do advanced and have a look at our settings so as we can see here here is our ip address we can change this to something that is not already assigned on the network so we can set a static ip uh, so this is what i've currently got mine out the gateway the slash 24 which is the standard for the network prefix length the dns server as i have shown in a previous video of mine and also previous short, I am using a Pi Hole a network level ad blocker, so that's why my DNS server here looks different. That is a local one instead of a 1111 or an 8.8.8.8 .8 or an 8.8.4.4. .4. Now these DNS servers, this this second one here, this fallback one belongs to Google. That's Google's secondary one. This is currently my pie hole. I could change that to 1.1.1.1, which would make Cloudflare my uh, DNS provider, but I'm not going to do that. So we could change, we could set this here to treat the network as metered, which would mean that it would slow down the data that's being passed through. If it was unmetered, in this case, it's not going to limit the data being passed through. Uh, the MAC address type, that is. This setting, I believe, is just based for and uh, Samsung devices, due to the specific uh, due to the uh, type of phone that I've got. Now here it shows a suspected network speed. It also shows the security, which is the WPA2 um, passkey, which is the standard for uh, wireless connections on home devices. Now, this managed router would take me through to a router login page, which I'm not going to hit. And the standard comes with the auto reconnect, which is expected. So that, that is how you would change it. In this case, I am just going to change this to a 9-1. Give that a second. So it's going to reconnect and ask the router, hey, look, is there something on the network called 0.91? And in this case, there isn't. So it shows it worked correctly. So this so far this is a well, this is a functional way of changing things and just changing stuff around as we can see here the network speed is now finally caught up and is now 780 megabytes per second so it shows that it has functioned and it is working anyway I would like to thank you very much for watching this video uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, different format of video and I hope you have a good rest of your day. I've been Nick, you've been amazing, and I hope you have a good one. Goodbye.